This is the Artly Enjoy 3. It's a 1080p native LED projector. It has the capabilities to have AirPlay and Miracast for wirelessly streaming your content to the projector. And it's extremely portable and compact. Let's go ahead and unbox this to see what's inside. Then let's go ahead and set it up and see how it performs. So inside the box, you have the projector itself, the instruction manual, the remote control, which requires two AAA batteries, the power plug, HDMI to HDMI cable, and the audio video composite cable. So let's go ahead and look at the projector itself in more detail. So just taking a look at the front of the projector, you've got this nice mesh fabric covering there with the Artly logo. Here is where you can twist and pull out and see the bulb. That's quite a nice, you press it in place. On this side, you have a very nice metallic manual focus button. On the back, these are the different ports that you have. So you've got the AV input, a headphone input, if you wanted to just listen to the content directly from headphones, HDMI, two USB ports, and a keystone correction slider there. This is the power port here, and you have some speakers on the right-hand side. At the bottom, you can actually Get this little kickstand just to get you the right elevation or the angle to project the content onto your wall or your screen so very convenient and it's actually very lightweight and it's not too heavy so i can definitely take this with me in my backpack so i quite like this design so one thing i like about this is that it has a contrast ratio of 9000 to 1 and an led lifetime of a hundred thousand hours so you can pretty much be sure this is going to be a long lasting top quality projector. It is 7,200 lumens of brightness, which is on par with a lot of the high end projectors now available online. But the standout features on this are the wireless capabilities. Of course, it has Bluetooth connection, so you can connect it to speakers, to headphones, soundbars, etc. But you can also do Wi-Fi casting, which allows you to wirelessly cast to your Android phone with Miracast and iPhone using iOS cast. Now the other thing that really stands out for this one is that it supports both 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi connection, which, you know, if you do connect through the 5G network, then you'll get some very fast latency free playback. And that's not that common on a projector of this size. So I'm very keen to try it out because I do have a 5G Wi-Fi connection. Let's go ahead. I'm going to set this up with my 120 inch projection screen, play some content, connect it to my phone, maybe use the HDMI cable as well and check out the quality. Now I've just set this up on top of my projector tripod just to showcase you guys the buttons on the top. This is the power button that also doubles up as the volume as well. So you can slide it left and right to put the volume up and down. You've got the up and down menu operational buttons, the OK button and the return button. So this is set up. Let's go ahead and see the capabilities of it on my 120 in projector there. Okay, so let's just quickly run through the menu. So as you can see, you can select movie, photo, music, or text. If you go into input source, you can do multi-screen, HDMI, or AV. If you put a USB into the projector, that will automatically be detected and it will load up the USB menu. And then you have some settings here. So You've got things like image scaling, aspect ratio, picture modes. You've got the software and factory settings just below that. And then you can also connect to the Wi-Fi and to Bluetooth. So the first test I'd like to do is try out the multi-screen, which is the wireless casting. And the first one I will try it out with is my iPhone. So you have the option here to do iOS cable cast. So if you do connect this with your iPhone cable via the USB port, then you'll have a better connection experience in terms of the latency. What I want to really try out is the iOS cast. Pretty straightforward, I've got my iPhone here. I'm just going to go into the screen mirroring options. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm just gonna be loading the Artly Wi-Fi connection here with my phone, and it will connect to the projector because I've connected that through Wi-Fi as well. So there we go. Pretty smooth, pretty responsive. Let's go ahead and play a YouTube video for an example. And then I'll also play the audio directly from the projector as well. I'm going to sit right next to the projector so you guys can hear the audio quality from that.
but let's test this out. If I turn my phone sideways, it will go full screen. Now you guys actually saw there was a little bit of some buffering going on. Now it really depends on how close your projector is to your wireless router. Mine is on a different floor. This is in my bedroom. So it's probably not picking up the strongest signal. So I probably wouldn't use this specifically just to use iOS cast, but you have the option to do iOS cable cast. So let me go ahead and disconnect this and reconnect it using the cable. So when you select iOS cable cast, you connect your cable via USB and the lightning connector to your phone. You get a pop-up, just hit on trust, enter the passcode for your iPhone and you should be in. Now I'm directly connected with the cable. So let's go ahead and see how smooth this is with that same video. And for me personally, having a wired connection is always going to be better than a wireless one. But the wireless connection for iOS cast or mirror cast would be great if you wanted to show people maybe some pictures or videos from your gallery. Maybe you just want to put some music on from your phone or anything like that. And I think it would do a great enough job. But the fact that this projector gives you many different options to cast to the screen, I think is great. Now in terms of wireless capabilities, the next test I want to do is connect it to my soundbar which is just sitting right underneath the projector screen. So let me go ahead and connect that via Bluetooth. So you go into settings, you scroll down to Bluetooth, you turn Bluetooth on. Now I'm going to put my soundbar into Bluetooth mode and then click find Bluetooth. There we go, Tapio V is the name of my soundbar. Connected. I've got a confirmation that it's connected by the soundbar itself. So now we're good to go and that was pretty seamless, pretty painless. If I go back, you'll see on the top right hand side of the screen, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is both connected. So what I want to do now is connect via HDMI directly to my MacBook Pro and give you guys an example video and audio from the soundbar itself. And there we have my MacBook Pro. So here's another YouTube video. Just going to double check that the output sound is coming from the soundbar. So switch over to the projector, which is this one. There we go. Let's make it full screen. And now the audio will come directly from the soundbar underneath the screen.
So it works great guys and I think that's just a great feature to have on any projector because the internal speakers, although they are quite loud and you can go pretty high to get a good enough experience to whatever you're listening to, I think it's always beneficial to get the cinematic experience, especially if you are going to set up a projector, to have a sound bar with it. So speakers and audio are just as important as the quality of the video itself. So that's it guys, plenty of functionalities in this portable compact size projector. It packs a punch, the video quality as you can see, it's very detailed, it's got vibrant colors, it's sharp, and the fact that you can adjust the keystone so easily as well as the focus, it just makes this the ideal solution for having a home cinema in your house. This comes in at 220 pounds on Amazon, but they have discounts and offers running from time to time. So check out the latest pricing information by hitting the link I have in the description. You might be able to grab yourself a good saving. If there's anything else that you guys want to know, drop a comment down below. Or if you did like this video and you like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.